motivating the camera movements. Are you kidding me? That shot was amazing. And that transition, that was a perfect j a match cut is what we call that. I'll talk more about it later. On my Genshin Impact cinematic journey, Fontaine has been my favorite section of the story, especially the Farina scenes. They came together so beautifully with her finale. Today, we finally get to cover a character that I've wanted to see more of, the character demo for Navia. If you've been enjoying our time together, please consider watching some of the other videos that we've covered on this channel. Genshin lore masters, join me in battle once again. Boss, we have a lead on that no good thief. Ooh, really nice they call him the here. Sea Shadow. Mm. This is his arrest warrant. Setting the mood. Unfortunately, Very he's cool. got a good nose. Like noir he's unpredictable feeling. too, which is how he's eluded us thus far. Okay. I like how they show right away she's the boss. Uh, that's the guy. <laughs> Perfect pause. Oh, Stand right I love there. the editing. Get back here. That was amazing. How is yeah. he so fast? Really, really charming, playful feeling here. <laughs> that was a great <gasps> kind of like character reveal. And the music is glorious. Yes. The music is character here. Oh, that was an awesome shot. Wow. Incredible sort of follow along camera work, motivating the camera movements. Are you kidding me? That shot was amazing. And that transition, that was a perfect j a match cut is what we call that. I'll talk more about it later. This is so good. Oh, it's charming. It's playful. It's she's sophisticated. Oh my goodness, her fighting style is it's a weapon. It's a spear her, her umbrella turns into a It's like a spear gun. Oh man, that's, that's so creative. This is one of the most creative characters they've created in, in a while. I love it. And I love I love the humor of this. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! I always say I love to see other characters. It's such a great cast. Let's put them together. Please, boss! Put your umbrella away! The music's ramping up here. Ramping up for the chase. I'm getting Princess Peach vibes. Very cool with that shot. Incredible camera work throughout. The transitions throughout with these match cuts. We're going to talk about it. What a match cut is. Did you see the aspect ratio change? This is insanity. Yes. And with the photo finish, this is amazing. Ah, ready to admit defeat? <laughs> Let's get you to the guards. Um, boss? So I awesome. might need to get him to a doctor first. <laughs> wow, that was one of the best character demos Genshin's put out in a while. I absolutely loved it. I feel like I get a lot of her character too uh, from this. Not just from the uh, sort of situation that she's in. Like the music feels like her character. It's very playful. It's very interesting. But here's the cool thing. Uh, she's in a dark line of work. This is what's fascinating about the character. She's in a very dark line of work, doing doing work that's very dangerous, work that's like apprehending dangerous people, and you know, violence is involved. But her violence and the way she tackles it is very playful. It's almost like she's repressing the sort of work that she has to do with a playful personality. It's very interesting, um, and it makes me wonder if that's kind of uh, if there are other aspects of her personality that match that kind of you know masking how she feels because there's really not even a moment where she clicks and we see anything about the character. And like I said, we're going to talk about those jump cuts, incredible editing. Uh, and as I said, if you're enjoying our time together, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that join button. If you want to choose videos for me to react to from other games, it's a lot of fun. And of course, join our discord and join the conversation. But guys, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about here. So let's get into it. All right. Going yeah, there's, there's so many great shots. I love this sort of, uh, I love this opening. It kind of sets the, sets the story of the scene, if you will. Um, and what I love is this is one of the character demos where we do get a little bit more story. There are some character demos that are kind of they're kind of sparse, and it's more just about the combat. This one's really cool. This one's really cool. And oh, I was talking earlier even about the humor she applies to the situation. Like even her weapon, it's an umbrella. It's cute. It's sophisticated. It's official, right? It's very fancy. Uh, it doesn't look like a dangerous weapon. So it's like she's kind of masking everything. It's cool. I really like what they're doing with this. Yeah, this is funny. I love the humor in here too. There's this little moment of levity, like, oh no, great, great timing. The timing's fantastic throughout.
and this was cool this is a really cool section <laughs> kind of like montage work here again not something you typically get in a character demo reel I mean, look at this. It's funny. You can kind of see the insanity of it. Oh, they came around the corner and they were running too fast. So it's like, you know, there's little gags in here. Like, it's a frame. It's a shot you see for just a couple frames. But look at this. This guy, like, clearly tripped or overshot and, and fell over. Like, there's humor. And what I like about it is on the second watch, like any proper Genshin character, really, you get more out of it. Because they're meant to be watched many times. And you have to kind of remember that when we when we talk about this as as a medium of like separate video game storytelling that exists on YouTube. It's it's very unique. Uh, probably around 120 frames per second to be able to achieve that on a 23.98 uh, timeline. <laughs> great, great. And I love that we get these kind of perspective shifts, uh, a little bit of a beautiful over the shoulder. Work. And th this is a fancy over the shoulder shot. This is actually really nice composition wise. Um, when we typically do over the shoulder shots, uh, we tend to keep them, uh, well, not I say we, a lot of filmmakers, you know, you'd see the classic over the shoulder switch, character stays on the left side of the screen and the right. This is very creative from a composition standpoint. So let's talk about it. She's on the right side of the screen, of course, uh, in this shot, and he's on the left. So we've established a sort of line of demarcation for the 180 rule, the line of action, as we call it in filmmaking, uh, in between here. <laughs> And what happens is she's still on the right side of the screen, you know, for the majority, she's skewed to the right. And then here she's on the right, but we get this cool smile. So it, is, it still achieves the sort of compositional necessities of this, um, of the shot selection, but it's pretty creative. And we get the smirk, which is really fun. Again, not taking it too seriously, her line of work. And then look at this fear, right? And she's just smiling. She's got food. She's got an apple. Her men are falling over themselves and she's eating. It's interesting. All right. Going somewhere. And then this transition, we got to talk about it. This is one of the coolest. Going somewhere. Yeah, really clean transition into that sort of live 2D VTuber model that they that they do for these awesome. I didn't get to read it before, so let's read it. Navia, helm of the radiant rose, the current president of Spina de Rula, who is lovely, dutiful, and a great boss. I love it. It sounds like it was written by one of her subordinates, which is cool and. Can we talk about the character design here? Really rural cool character design, uh, great character design. I love the blues and the golds. Really, really solid choice. Uh, very complimentary uh, as far as the color theory goes and just beautiful. Yeah. Now this shot, I actually want to talk about. Yeah, really cool, man. I like that to show she's kind of vicious in her chase. Um, but again, there's a levity to it. She's having fun in the chase. Fascinating. I mean, look at this. She's just speeding through the through the street now we're coming to an extremely intense shot that i, I really love so let's watch it through here i'm going to come to that first match cut that i talked about um which is a really cool trick you can do with filmmaking <laughs> this shot is insane man it's so good i mean and you know i always say this like to achieve this in real life would take a lot of work Obviously, this isn't real, but it's just so cool to think about. Um, sort of the the limitations that exist in reality don't exist here. So look what we do. Let's go through it. We end up having this awesome shot where she is, you know, high up in the sky, and it's awesome because it it achieves a sense of momentum and speed. Like look how far she's moving in the frame. The camera's following her. She slides down the wall. This gives us an opportunity for this awesome close up, and they pull in. Uh, and it actually changed focal lines too. It was a bit of a wider lens when she's up in the air. And now we've punched in probably closer to like a portrait lens or even just like a 50 millimeter, which is like what the human eye sees. Then she jumps off. Now, of course, we're going to transition once again back out to a glorious wide angle. And look at this. You can actually see the distortion a little bit in the, uh, the building. It's beautiful. You can see a little bit of curve there. It's the distortion of a wider angle. That happens. And then, oh, so cool. We like... I love this because it kind of, uh, it's almost like that feeling in a video game, like Minecraft or something where you jump off and it's like, oh, it almost gives you like this feeling in your stomach, like you're on a roller coaster. What I love is it's like, we pass her. It's like, oh, the camera fell. The camera fell out of my hand and it passed her. Really cool effect. Very creative. Love it. That's the match cut I was talking about. So what is a match cut? You know, you can probably figure it out from the, from the terms, but what happens here is, a match cut is when you cut to a different shot, but the subject or the object in the shot is going to be, uh, compositionally speaking, matching in the same part of the frame. So, like, how cool is that? And this is kind of a double thing. Not only is it the same subject, a lot of times with a match cut, it'll be a different person, different object. Um, 
Uh, there's some really cool match cuts in, uh, and some really cool transitions that are similar to this in Advent Children, uh, Final Fantasy VII, which I love. But look at this. Uh, she's using the same pose and is like kind of matching the, the choreography, but in a different location. Again, sort of the magic of, of you know, computer-generated scene like this that you can pull off perfectly. Awesome. Just so satisfying, too. And that's what's cool. On the second watch, you'll catch more of this. Really nice choreography, yeah. I love these things. Again, notice what happened there. What is going on with this character? Look what happens to her. When she closes her eyes in the real world, we get this kind of nice bouquet. A nice sort of spotlight, almost reminiscent of Farina, who's on the stage here. It's interesting, right? And she comes back out of it and she's smacking the guy with an umbrella. Madness. <laughs> yeah, we have these, these cool little vignettes of like... Is it a daydream? She's got shades on. So cool. And it has like like what is her weapon? Is she a spear user? Is she smacking people with it? Is it a is it a firing magic? I have so many questions for the Genshin lore masters here. Help me out. I mean, this is what? What a cool weapon! And then we get this. It's it's like a halberd. This is so cool, man. Is she weapon switching? No, there's no way. And then it's just a big like blaster. Gotta cut my losses. Do you see that effect? There's a really cool sort of idea here. Look at this. Uh, look what happens when she fires it. This sort of magic effect has petals and has flowers like she was in that daydream, dreaming of bouquets and stuff. Look at this. It gives, like I said, that sort of Princess, princess Peach vibe. Uh, you ever played a Princess Peach in Smash Bros who's just too dang good and you know you've lost the moment the match starts? Yeah. Um... <laughs> it's extra funny in that situation because of the, you know, I have an umbrella. I'm just hanging out, and it's, it just makes it so ridiculous. And that's sort of the fun of Smash Bros., right? But that's the feeling I'm getting. I love that, you know, we have these cool transitions that imply that the chase has gone all day. Um, also, the chase started at night. So, did we really do a chase all night? He's one step ahead. Also, uh, just kind of voicing the skill of the character, we have her henchmen here are like uh, doubled over and she's, again, you know, got an umbrella and a dress that you typically you think would be hard to run in and she's just completely fine. I love it. It's showing that she's just like very powerful, you know? This is great too. It's like, uh, which way did it go? Which way did it go? You know, I love it. A little bit of uh, visual humor. Thank you. And we get another character from Fontaine. Perfect. So what if you flee by so it's like by sea, by by air. Come on, lad. Everywhere. And I love it. This is just, again, another manga shot with the manga lines physically appearing. <laughs> Please, boss. Put your umbrella away. Really nice change there. Tracking. And I mean, come on. We get the hero shot, right? I always talk about the hero shot. It's one of my favorite shots. Look at this. Boom. Rolls into it and ends up in this awesome shot here. Let's watch the whole thing. Let's get to the beginning of it. Watch this. Really nice. Now, let's see if this cuts. It's actually kind of hard to tell because of the momentum of it. And I might do a sort of like false cut here anyway. Yeah, we have the wide angle. She falls through with her umbrella. <laughs> Look at that. You can really see the cool symbol on her shoe. Like, it's just style. Everything's style. Boom. And this is interesting. It's almost the opposite of the other shot. Remember, we fell past her. We fell past her leg as the camera smacked into the ground. Now it's almost the opposite. She's falling past us. It's a cool effect, right? And I think it's actually... I think it's an unbroken shot. Yeah, it's an unbroken shot, which just, you know, makes it even cooler. She does the sweet action roll. And then we appear in the cool hero shot. Of course, you know, emphasized that we have her uh, her henchman here. You know, in, in cool poses as well. Really, really nice. The hero shot, like I always like to say, it's lowered down a little bit with the camera to sort of emphasize the grandiosity, the, uh, the power of this hero. And she's in a cool pose. Again, she's got the umbrella. She's dressed up fancy. She's doing action rolls. She's flipping through the air, 100 feet in the air. It's just like... She's so cool. She doesn't need to break a sweat. You know, it's just awesome. It emphasizes that uh, we've chosen here. Just a nice sort of, uh, I would say about a 30 millimeter lens. 
standard wide, very nice choice. Um, and uh, a nice shallow depth of field, actually. Yeah, the background's blurred out. Anyways, let's keep watching. And the dust adds to the effect here. And the guy continues. He's now got a Gundam with him. Madness. But she smiles, right? It's like, ah, oh, deadly war machine. She laughs about it. What is up with her character? And let's talk about this. I, I, su I guess it really is another match cut. Because look. Yeah, we really cut to a different sort of background, at least. <laughs> Insanity. Now this must be her, uh, uh, her burst, right? And then we get this aspect. You see, look at this. We go into sort of like cinema mode here. I love it. It's so cool. And again, she's just living the dream. She's she's in a daydream. What is the deal with her? I have so many questions about her character. And hey, this is what I'm talking about. Good character demo. Um, I got to see the combat. I got to see her fighting style, stuff like that. And now I say, what's her deal? I want to learn her story. So I think mission accomplished from the team. Shout out to the director here. And uh, solid storyboarding as well. That's another thing I'll say. Very good. Ready to admit defeat? <laughs> Let's get you the shades too. It's awesome, man. It's got this like sort of detective work, and I love that she is that sort of detective. Um, but you know, she dresses like she's uh, you know about to go to a ball or something. Really fun twist. You know, when you think detective, you think what Sherlock. You think uh, you know this sort of like getting getting dirty, uh, like. Uh, Fist fights in back alleys and stuff. You don't think this. That's a really cool twist. To the guards. Um, boss? <sighs> he doesn't look so good. Might need to get him to a doctor first. And that's it, right? That sort of sums up that thing. It's like, ah, oh, we got him. Yay. It's like, uh, you kind of injured him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, that kind of ignoring the severity of the situation. Um, I love this too. This is actually, this is a very, uh, this is a very Tarantino shot. Like we like to call it the, the Quentin Tarantino trunk shot. You know, there's usually a body in the trunk and everybody's looking down, uh, again in this, in this nice wide angle so you can see everybody. Um, so it's kind of a cool referential shot there. And it is in fact a body looking down at him. So <laughs> let's get you to the, go so fun, so fun. And it's just like, you know, if you were just to see this frame out of context too, it's like, Pretty interesting and intriguing image. What's going on here? Um, and I have so many questions about her weapon. It must like transform or something, right? Because how is it doing 40 different things? But yeah, overall, I am just... I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed with everything that happened here. That shot is probably my favorite. Because it's just so creative, yeah. It reminds me, I think it was, I think it was Xiao. I think it was Xiao had another shot like that in his trail where I was like, freaking out it might have been him it also might have been the wanderer but yeah all great stuff what a cool character let's go back to her sort of image here and all i'll say is guys if you've been joining our time together uh make sure to subscribe make sure to hop in our discord we have a genshin impact section or a hoyoverse section where people chat about that and kind of uh, help each other out with the game also we have uh a world of warcraft cinematic journey we've been going on um and doing lots of live streams with that I do want to stream more Genshin. That is on the uh, that is on the agenda. Just got to um, figure out when that's going to be. And we have some really exciting stuff on the way, guys. So, you know, we'd love to have you as part of the community. I love this video. Definitely one of my favorites. Genshin is killing it right now. And I'm going to have to play some more Fontaine after this. Because I had a lot of fun on stream that day. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video.